Hey everyone, this is Margaret for 6550 and I'm going to show you how to do a Punnett square. So in this video, let's cross a brown-eyed male and a brown-eyed female. And they're both heterozygous, meaning they carry the gene for blue eyes. But they are brown-eyed because that gene is dominant. So let's make a Punnett square like I did in my last video how to make a Punnett square. Um, really simple to make, and once you get used to them, you won't make them out. You'll just kind of scribble like I do. Or you'll memorize um, how to work them out. So let's move those down here. Now you always want to keep them to, the, to one side. You don't want to mix up the letters. You can't just put the letters anywhere. So there. Now, this is how we work them out. And let's start with this box right here. We're going to bring this one down and this one. And if you add them together, it's not BB squared, or B squared, it's just BB. Just add them together. And so, after that, we move on to, we get this one, and then we go all the way over there, and then we make Big B, Little B, just like the parents, same genotype. And then we do the next one, and then we do the last one. So that is how you do a Punnett square. Um, and that's the 2 by 2 way, is the way, you, basically the only way you can do that. But I'm going to teach you just in case you ever come across a problem and you don't want to do it out. So why don't we do Big B, Big B, homozygous for brown male with a blue-eyed female. So let's make another Punnett square. Kind of a skinny square. So uh, let's get B. Little B, little B. And let's get that. <laughs> Whoops. Well, um, as you can see, these parents have the same trait. This parent has the same trait, so it can only pass down a B, a big B. So it's kind of pointless to have the big B there. So let's get rid of that. Now, it's the same way. It can only give a little b. So in that big square, all the children would be heterozygous b. And so would in the simplified version of a Punnett square. One Punnett square. So that is how you do a Punnett square, even a simplified version. Um, you can only do that when there is, when they're homozygous. And you may not be able to do it for both pairs. So you have to make sure they're both. But you can do it for one. So this is Margaret.